Hey, welcome to High Footy Fire, a discussion about the future impact of this week's tech and world news leaning towards the singularity. I'm Nathan Waters. I'm Tristan Grace. We do intros quite well now, actually. Yeah, yeah. We actually memorise the intro, so that's yeah. kind of nice. The beat of like cattle. Yes, like cattle. Yay. Memorised. <laughs> to beer. To beer. Awesome thing this week, had, well the past two weeks, because we've been off for a week, mm. uh, feeling a little bit sick. Yeah, know. I've had a cough that's persistent and... I probably will still. It was cough. very sad. We've set up a fund if you want to donate through PayPal. Yeah, yeah. Um, Stop Nathan's cough. Yeah, that's it. Com. It's a big um, one. Oh, I'm accepting only th- only things from a hundred dollars up. Yeah, well, naturally, you don't want to. I mean, that cough medicine. That, that's a, that's quite an addiction, man. Yeah, damn straight. You it get, gets a quite a bit. Actually, they only sell behind the counters now. Yeah. Just, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I go in. I'm like, I want the cough medicine. It's behind the counter. They think you're a meth dealer. That's why. Mm. You know the classic. What happens? Is <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? The big thing the past two weeks has uh, definitely been the Connect. The Connect. Yeah. My God, I can't get enough about all the different hacking and everything that's been happening with it. So uh, that's one of my stones. Epic. Mine up nice. Good. Uh, <laughs> I've got a cool article on seeing I already have about life logging. Like logging your life. Sweet. Uh, I've got another little story which I won't spend too much time on. It's about making neon trees. Trees that glow. It's kind of cool. And uh, tech clothing, which is pretty cool. It's kind of epic. And uh, then our singularity topic is. Oh, yeah. uh, well, it's based around the connected <laughs> stuff, kind of about, uh, I think we were saying like, you know, how... Video... Yeah, in, inviting it into our, like, it's a connect. I want to do, I want to do like open source hacking type stuff. Yeah. Well, okay, the connect is our singularity topic. So, so. Yeah, that's open source hacking and stuff. Okay, cool. It's big. We're starting. Uh, I'll, I'll end on the, or should I start with the connect? <laughs> I'll start with the connect. I, I can Thank start. You. Okay, sure. Okay. <laughs> We're very organized this week. Oh yeah. It's going great. If we missed out a week, it's going <laughs> Yeah, um, okay. Singularity Hub article. Will life logging be led by extreme sports and thrill seekers? Will it? Yes. Why? That's why. <laughs> Explain. I like it, but I don't know why I'm agreeing. I need more information. Anyway, this is a really long article, but worth a watch. Um, life logging is basically the idea that, you know, if you... St- you know, stick a webcam or a video to your head. You can just record everything, okay. every day of every second. Um, and so the guy in here who writes for this uh, blog more often than the actual founder, um, it's called Aaron, and he he says that his opinion is that um, extreme sort of sports, like you know your um, you know parachuting, no <laughs> hang gliding, all of that hang stuff. hang gliding, yeah, snowboarding and all that stuff. Um, that they, they love to record all their tricks because it's actually interesting stuff yeah, to watch. Yeah. And they always had like their, their head cams, um, which records it in HD now as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're great. Um, like the wingsuit stuff. I was watching a video before, like going through. Yeah, and that was hectic. Oh my God. Well, that's so a, envious, except you'd die. <laughs> we'll have to show, we're showing that now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was hectic. Um, and probably the, 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 the whole founder of this entire movement at the moment is probably Steve Mann. He's been doing mm. it since the 80s. One of the Steves. He's, he's very, like, he's uber, uber geek. Um, mm. Apparently he has some really cool glasses, but I can't find them. There's, like, sure. no pictures. I don't know what. They had a Wikipedia article, like, showing his evolution of glasses throughout yeah, the Yeah, but the latest ones are oh, okay. the ones he's got. Apparently he's got, like, ones with actual hot overlays. Hell yeah. That's what, I've, that's what I've heard. It could be a rumor. I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, um, the big point he makes in this article is that, you know, the reason why maybe life blogging hasn't really taken off is, you know, true, there's the hardware limitation at the moment. It's expensive and bulky and mm-hmm. looks stupid. The, yeah. the, the augmented reality glasses with the things coming out and just giant, unnecessary yeah. crap. It's just... Well, like the thing you showed me before about having glasses with two little, like, uh, yeah, cameras Yeah, they're the out. latest around. Yeah, they're $2,000. They have little... I think they're like the Warp AR or something. Yeah. Like, like, good product, but just no marketing. Yeah. Okay. Um, so there's that limitation, but then there's also the limitation that, you know... 24-7 normal people's lives is boring as fuck. Except for mine, I'm a juggler. Just politely. <laughs> Your number juggler? I'm just a juggler. Okay. But it's 24-7 just juggling. Damn straight. We like AI. Do, 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 do. Got the yuckety sacks. That's what makes the juggling happen. Otherwise, I'm just tossing balls. Right. <laughs> so, okay. Um, so, beyond like some intelligent algorithm that actually allows you to pull out and search for, you know, interesting things that actually happened when you recorded it. Um, he's saying that, you know, people who do extreme sports really are the best people to really push this technology mm. because they, they're doing crazy, you know, crazy shit that, you know, could yeah. ki- get themselves killed 
And people love watching that. Yeah. They great. record it. Imagine if you could record it with your hand, with your helmet or whatever, and you've been doing like an awesome skate or snowboarding trick. Mm. You just hit one button, it shares it to all the social networks. Yeah. So I, I, um, I, I, I must admit, I, I can agree with that, that they have been pioneering it, like, you know, with the whole uh, head yeah. cam and all of that, like kind of, you know, mining or whatever. I always get the miner's hat with the light coming on, but it's really a camera instead. <laughs> um, but I, I must admit, I, I disagree a, a little bit with um, why it hasn't taken off. Um, yeah. I think the main reason it hasn't taken off is that we haven't had the technology like in our pocket to actually keep the video on us that until recently, very recently, you had to have like a whole DVD or burning to a DVD or even like a VCR, yeah. like even with the like the extreme sports guys, they've been getting smaller and smaller. That's been really up there. But now anyone like with the size of phones that are getting to it, you can actually record say your straight whole day your or, yeah, or maybe a week because of the space. Yeah, yeah. straight to your phone because you've got the computer. I, I, I feel that that's a big limitation because of just how bulky yeah. it's been. But now everyone is a computer with their phone. Yeah, well, that's one of the ideas. We may as well tell it. Eh? Yeah, it's a great. Well, that's idea. one of the ideas that we we wish someone would do, and if anyone's out there that can help us doing, or someone who can do it, we can do it. Um, just have simple glasses, put in a tiny little Bluetooth module, a tiny little video or digital camera, some kind of power source, and then have the Bluetooth connect to your phone with a simple app that records the video footage, mm -hmm. and then allows you to share it or you know index and search it and yeah. Like just, just recording it, just just going it, through like really low resolution. Yeah, and make it normal looking glasses with just a just a camera. That's yeah. it. And just permanently do it. Then Nothing you can say like bulky. your market is like indexing your life, uh, saving your, your memories right now for when you can actually search video. Because let's be serious here, it's going to happen very shortly that we're yeah. going to be able to search video for what did I say on the 26th of the 10th, 2010. That's kind of why we're doing this now. Yeah, very true. <laughs> we can see the, our thought progression as we go along. That's it. Our changing bodies. That's it. As we become giant globules of... As we blossom from beautiful young girls into voluptuous women we are today. And the sagging begins. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. We should go on the next one. Yeah, next one. Too much time. Uh, well, what I'll go into this is... I'll go into the tree. Now I'll speak about Connect and we'll go into Singularity, the, the future of Connect. Okay. Uh, the one I'm going to talk about now is the tree. And this was actually um, sent to me by uh, Louis, who uh, we've done a few High 45 Plus episodes, so you can check them out. That was done earlier, yeah, I haven't done one in a while. Yeah. Uh, live with Louis, he's a great guy, he's an iPhone developer. And uh, this is about neon trees, that, I'll just read the first sentence. Uh, Taiwanese researchers have found out that if they put gold nanoparticles, when they were introduced into uh, Bacopa carolinia plants, <laughs> they, caused the, <laughs> they caused the chlorophyll to produce reddish light. So um, they glowed. The the glowing trees. trees. Gl glowing trees. So it's kind of like it's like genetic modifications for trees. Yeah, and it gets it's, and there's a lot more actually. Um, and while lit, the glowing trees actually consumed more carbon from the atmosphere than normal. So uh, that was nice as well. They're carbon reducing. So they don't say why, do they? No. Well, the problem <laughs> was I spent about I only spent about twenty minutes. So I'm sorry. Uh, looking for a video of this. Actually, that is a top comment. Why isn't there a video about it? So I'm, I'm excited about this, but I'm holding off <laughs> until there is proof of glowing trees in video format. Yes. They've got pictures of the trees, but yeah, so we'll what's, see. What's a, what's a future impact of this idea? Glowing trees? <laughs> Are you kidding? Like, and that's everything I've ever dreamed of is glowing trees. I guess we could like put them in parks. You wouldn't need to have like lights everywhere. Think of braves. Think of like you, you take acid, you just like strip shit. You just walk around with like, well, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Something's gone seriously wrong. I mean, the whole forest is glowing now. Yes. <laughs> that was my first thing that I thought of when. Uh, what would that? That's be? that's clearly where it'll it'll hit the mainstream. Uh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> I, I think I may need to actually go to a rave because I'm guessing they're not actually like that, but. That no, might be a future thing. Anyway, they, they did say here that like, you know, you can put them out in parks, put them all around in that way. It does consume more carbon than normal. Yeah. It's actually putting them around without lights and stuff because that was the obvious thing that they say here. Mm -hmm. If they're bright enough. That'd be nice. Nice and romantic. You put, the, say, a glowing tree on top of uh, Mount Kira, our big hill that's up at the big mountain, sort of. They have a big glowing tree. And you have them shoot out lasers. Yeah, why not? It's like concentrate the all, all the glowiness into a single leaf and shoot it out. Death trees instead of death stars. Death trees. Just zap people. <laughs> I think we're going to sign it. That's not fantasy. a tree. Yeah. <laughs> not really. Um, anyway. Anyway, next article. Um, this is kind of just a fun gimmicky little look at the pictures thing. Um, it's like uh, clothing, but tech clothing. Mm. It's pretty cool. Which you, you see it around. It's kind of like the cyberpunk movement we talked about I before. Love cyberpunk. Um, this is uh, it's one of those. Oh, I hate these blogs where you gotta you gotta click for the next image, and they got like a tiny one sentence thing. So mm. sorry, but it's cool. 
Um, so there's a few things like jackets which have like um, sleeves which you can embed like all your different you know phones and stuff and oh, yeah. um, cargo sleeves. Let's just try and pull some other stuff up. Uh, we were saying before with the, the hoodies and having the... Yeah, yeah, there's a cool hoodie where, um, you know, you have your little cores that come down. Those are earphones. That's just Earbuds, a great idea. Sorry. That'd be awesome. Um, other things like, you know, there's a headband here for, say, people who run, which has, like, actually embedded, um, you know, you can put your little, your, I, what are they called now? iPods, still. Yeah. Um, Apple Touch, yeah, or something, whatever. And you have uh, speakers in there. Oh. And other things like... Um, it was these dance pants where, um, like where this is going. It was almost like a. Oh, hang on, it's the our internet sucks out here. It was dance pants. Dance pants where, here we go. Um, it's powered. Uh, it has a music player powered by the movements that the wearer makes while you run. So it kind of forces the wearer to keep up uh, with the pace in order to keep the music flowing. That's a great so, idea. If you slow down, the music stops, and then, you know, you That's suddenly... That's fantastic. Like, yeah, as you yeah. start running it, like, if you start going softer, the music gets softer. If you start running slower, the music gets softer and all of that. And yeah. start running fast, you get big pump and music. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, like, uh, this thing called the M dress, where it's like a dress, but if you... You can answer calls by holding your hand up to your ear. Oh, they've got, like, speaker got a, in there. Yeah, speaker ah. embedded. I'm guessing you just put your phone in your pocket, very plugs cute. in. Yeah. So there's all these cool things that people... I just feel like people are starting now to be able to... Well, there's still companies, but imagine if people could start hacking the real world. Mm. Start saying, you know, imagine if we put a chip in that and we could, you know, add a few wires cool and stuff. add some speakers and a microphone and maybe a little screen yeah. in well, clothes in any device. Well, especially with clothes, like uh, I remember a little while ago, I was actually looking up, it was, it was a joke, we were speaking about it, like uh, what are actual clothing, like cyberpunk clothing stores at the moment, like online stores, it must be big things there. Not... Looking it up, like there are, there are a lot of stores there, but they're very, um, let's say specific. Uh, yeah. There's not too much that are actually that that fashionable or something like that. The, the cool factor was like minimal. I'd find one or two things was like, oh, that's really cool, but yeah, yeah. not a lot of stuff there. And there's all these ideas like you go to any forum, any just chatting to people and saying, hey, that's a cool idea. That's a cool idea. Or all of that. So, what's that geek site where you can buy shirts which actually have like a guitar on the front where you can play on it? It's like Think Geek and all of Think that. Think Geek, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Think Geek's pretty cool. They have a, a whole bunch of t-shirts and yeah. stuff where they have embedded electronics. That that's it. And I mean, they, they have been like selling well. Like, you know, the classic t-shirt I've actually seen around all uni and all of that is uh, you've got the t-shirt with the different music bars coming up and then like depending yeah. on the sound level it like bounces. Yeah. So that's, that's pretty awesome. It's just cool things like that. I, I do think there is a, a place or there is a spot for someone to release a clothing store catering just towards the tech stuff but not going full on like the cyberpunk stores I've just found. Yeah, not targeting towards geeks, targeting towards the mainstream. Yeah, because I mean, you Apple's know, you, become you, cool now. Yeah, I'll say, you, your Facebook users. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's not bad. And your mainstream, like, you know... Tech is cool. Hipsters, tech Apple thing. has done many things and uh, making stuff cool has, uh, I think, been definitely one of the... More pleasant ones. Eye clothes. Eye clothes. Eye hat. Eye shirt. <laughs> eye pants. Eye pants. Mm, eye socks. Steve Jobs is trying to get into your eye pants. <laughs> uh, uh, <okay>. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> let's go with the connect. Oh, fine, close your laptop. Be oh, like I'm that. done. Okay. Um, <laughs> done. Plus, it's hot. Laptop's hot. Mm.